Welcome home, dear. You're just in time. I just finished preparing dinner a moment ago. Aw, that's sweet of you to say. I'm happy that you still look forward to my cooking. But <laughs> enough flattery. Just unwind and get ready to eat. Today's a special night, so I might have gone a little... overboard. Well, uh, you'll see when you get to the kitchen. Uh, yeah, like I said, I got really motivated. But once I finished the filet mignon, I couldn't resist trying the brioche panko crusted halibut recipe I found, and I figured this rice pilaf would pair with it nicely. And all of that finished just in time to take my devil's food cake out of the oven, and... <coughs> you don't even know why I felt the need to do all this. I'm sorry. I just keep getting carried away. Uh, let me explain. Mm. Happy anniversary, honey. That's right. It's been one whole year since we started living together. <sighs> so much has happened. We've been through a lot. Mostly because of each other. <laughs> but also because of the things that want to drive us apart. But... We didn't let those things stop us, did we? No. They just made us, and our love, stronger. Made us... Inseparable. Mm. I never knew I could love so strongly. I thought cooking was my only passion. But you gave me something else to be passionate about. I guess this meal is just my way of showing my gratitude, but don't worry. I have other events planned for this evening, so I need you to eat so you can keep up your strength. <laughs> I mean it. Dig in already, before it gets cold. It was my first time using brioche to make bread crumbs, so I hope you like it. Oh, and you have to try the sauce I made. Well, honey, you really cleared your plate. More than once. <laughs> Does that mean you enjoyed it? Yeah, I guess I didn't need to ask. Were you looking forward to my cooking that much? Really? Aw, oh, you know just what to say to lift my spirits. Completely different from how you were back then. You don't remember? Well, it was a while ago. But when we first, uh moved in together, it was a struggle to get you to eat my cooking. I know, I couldn't believe it either. You loved my food before you got here. What could have changed in such a short time? It took me a while to figure that one out, but eventually we found the problem and overcame it together. And now look at you, wolfing down plate after plate of my homemade meals. I don't know why, but I feel a sense of pride when I think of how far our relationship has come. I guess it's true what they say. Food really does bring people together. You feel it too, huh? That makes me so happy. I just feel full of your love, but... Not too full that I can't have a slice of this cake. You still have room for dessert too, don't you? Hmm, that's my girl. Oh, I have an idea. We haven't done this in a while. Let me just... We should really sit this close more often. I want the best of you of your satisfied face. Here, take a bite of this. Open up. Ah. Uh, how was it? Really? Oh, thank God. I'm glad it's not too sweet. I guess I finally got the amount of sugar just right. Have another bite. Oh, you got a little on your face right there. No, the other side, just... Hold on, I'll get it for you. Mm. I think I got it. <laughs> there were actually quite a few failures, but they weren't worth serving you. There's no need to waste your time with uh, inferior products, so I gave them away. Uh... Nope. I only want to give my girlfriend the finest things in life. And all I ask for in return is your love. It's a great deal, don't you think? <laughs> uh, 
doesn't really matter if you say that you agree with me. When your actions tell a different story. Please don't waste your time by playing dumb. Neither of us deserve that. Let's just try to be honest for a change. I think I've been very accommodating, all things considered. You can leave the house. You can return to your old job after I forge the appropriate doctor's notes. You can even bring home takeout whenever you please. And that's pretty gracious of me, don't you think? Especially in light of how uncooperative you were in the beginning. I thought we made some real progress. But you took my goodwill and you paid it back with lies and insults. We agreed, didn't we? That if you followed my rules, I wouldn't have to hurt you or your ex-boyfriend or anyone else. I told you, their safety was entirely up to you. You remember that, don't you? Well, if you really did remember, then why would you go behind my back and try to contact that idiot ex of yours? I mean, did you really think I wouldn't notice your plans? I know you were just playing the long game, trying to bide your time until you could escape from me. I knew it, but I wanted to delude myself. Because even if it was a lie, you could be so sweet to me. We had so many great moments together, and I wanted to believe they were genuine. But your short-sightedness got in the way of what could have been. God, the look on your face. You really did think I, I wouldn't find... God, the look on your face. You really did think that I wouldn't find out. That I wouldn't take precautions before letting you out of the house alone. Do I look stupid to you? Am I just a convenient dope that cooks and takes care of you? <sighs> Again, your actions already answered that question, so don't bother saying anything. Huh? How did I know? <laughs> well, aren't you cheeky? Don't you dare underestimate the connections I made through my restaurant. Certain clients are very grateful for a setting to host their more sensitive engagements, and that comes with certain privileges. Keeping tabs on you is the least of them, I assure you. Even taking care of that man was a small ask for them. I guess it's just business as usual for them. Oh, are you worried about him? Even though you're the one that dragged him into this mess? It's just a little too late for that. There's nothing you can do to help him now. But it's not all bad. I found a way to put him to good use. Oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you suddenly throwing up the dinner I made for you? I put too much time and effort for you to just... Wait, you don't... <laughs> you don't You don't think he's the food, do you? <laughs> That's hilarious, Sonny. This filet is the real deal, I assure you. Besides, I'm sure I told you I only use the finest ingredients for my cuisine. No exceptions. That's how I maintain my restaurant-level quality with the food I cook for just us. He could never serve that purpose, so don't worry about that. No, I found something else for him to do. I'm guessing you also conveniently forgot about my other menu. The one full of those exotic recipes. Like the one I used to bring you here a year ago. Creating more of those was always a hobby of mine. But testing on them on myself can be so painful and tedious. Luckily, your boyfriend graciously agreed to become my assistant. I guess he was short-sighted, too. He didn't realize that the uh, other option on the table was the easy way out. <laughs> He'll be begging for that quick release soon enough. But I'm very careful, so he won't be getting that any time soon. All he will get is suffering. And knowing all the while that you're the reason he's suffering. I warned you from the very beginning, but you were too selfish and stupid. You've hurt me. You've hurt him. And you've hurt yourself. You'll have to pay for that mistake. Until you're ready to make an honest attempt at making this relationship work. But for now, just eat up. What? 
You're scared to eat again? Aw, that's so cute and nostalgic. But listen to me. This food here? That's not your punishment. No, your punishment comes later. Like I said earlier, I have other events planned for this evening. So eat and keep up your strength. Go on, dig in. Enjoy this meal. <laughs> it won't be your last, but maybe you'll wish it was.